What's up, DigiDestins? This is Kyle D, better known as Rhyme Avatar, and today we are going to be talking none other than the Market Watch. Hopefully, you heard the bell in the beginning because that just signifies we are at another Market Watch Wednesday. So, guys, if you like Market Watches, definitely check out my channel. This has, I always do a Market Watch Wednesday and Friday, and goal is to be the number one Market Watch viewer in the community. But Without further ado, let's dive into the video and talk about it. So first off, let's talk about Calling from Darkness. It is still on the climb and uphill. This card is still a very powerful card, knowing that EX3 is going to be using this card probably at its full advantage with the Imperial Dramon deck. It's definitely good to know that this card is not going anywhere in price. This card is going to probably still climb, maybe be a $50 card very easily. It is almost on buyout status as well. So that's something you have to pay attention to. And on the Europe side, it's about 25 euros, which is about $25. Not terrible. Uh, Pen Pangeomon, this card, uh, we saw a Leomon support card revealed that actually uses this card as well as its primary form. So, having both antibodies now, Leoban looks like it's a very viable deck. That card in BT11, though. So, people did buy on the hype for this, which is nothing wrong with that. I think it's pretty solid here. But this card is now like a $7 card when it was like in the $2 range not too long ago. So, that's how we're going to look at it. But nothing too crazy here on the Europe side. It's basically a dollar. Not terrible. Uh, Mecha Galgamon. So Galga is very interesting. This card is Digiburst to return one of your opponent's level four or lower Digimon to their hand. Trash all Digi Evolution cards with that. Digimon. I mean, it's useful. And yes, it is the only other line that you have. The problem comes down to it is a deck building deck, stack building deck, and without X antibody pieces like the other stack building decks you now have a struggling issue that the pieces can't like digivolve on top of each other which that should do this at this point if you have the same digimon make it so you can digivolve on top might actually benefits the stack building decks a little bit easier uh but i get it we're looking at one point one dollar and fifty cents so not terrible on the Europe side, it's definitely a lot cheaper than the buyout that's happening here. I mean, we were in that price range, and then everybody got on the hype. I could tell you right about here when everything just went go bye-bye. Most of it was being bought in the low range. Um, Outside of that, Shine Greymon from Great Legends. Another buyout happening here as well. There's only so many cards left on the market. And that's just because... <laughs> it's an older set, harder to grab. And Shine Greymon actually has some OTK potential, and it's one of those cards that are going to be slept on a little bit. I feel like if somebody can crack this, that extra being able to when one of your yellow or red dig tamers are suspended, this Digimon gains a security plus one until the end of end of the turn. Really does apply a lot of pressure, and it's a, only a dollar on the Europe side. Uh, Deltamon is another card we should be really thinking about. This card does see play even in going into EX3. This card is played in the deck that is called Gaiomon, aka Black War Greymon. This might see some more hype buy if we have another Black War Greymon X antibody come out and it just fills the deck with the last bit of power that it needs so it's just something to look forward to and what's really important about this is when the Digimon would digivolve into a two color color or comp putts in its traits reduce the digivolution by two this also can help with the machine drum online too because it is part black and because the new not machine drum not machine drum sorry the new tyrannomon stuff because he's part black, he's that part black part is useful for the metal tyrannos and the, you know, rust tyrannos line there. 
So that's not a bad pickup choice. Just keep an eye out on it. If that deck gets crazy, it's probably going to be Pubs, Delta Bonds in the deck, lowering even more cheaply. So that might be where it's going to be coming from. We're looking at $6.50. Not terrible. I mean, like a $7 card is not terrible. I mean, we're looking at $5 on Europe side. Really solid. Uh, next, we have Mega Dramon X Record. This card is being bought out because Machine Dramon just got revealed actually today. I'm just kidding. No, um, everyone's getting prepared for Machine Dramon and they're getting also prepared for the fact that we have really powerful tamer removal we need for when we get into BT11. So this is a very powerful tech choice because when did you evolve and delete one of your opponent's Digimon or tamer with a play cost three or less? And then the continuous being able to delete one of your opponent's tamers or Digimon with a play cost three or less constantly applies pressure to your opponent. That could mean that if Machine Dramon gets a little, is getting stronger and stronger every set, that means if it can take on Crossheart very easily and start killing off the tamers, this might be one of the reasons why. Uh, we're looking at two euros, not terrible. I like it. Uh, we're looking at Sama Sasanti. This card is six dollars. I mean, close to seven actually, but that's good. From its original price of twenty bucks, coming down to all the way, this is really solid to see. I told you guys to wait on it. It was a smart move here. We're looking at five euros, five dollars. I like it. Agumon from the July Evolution Cup. This card was like expensive, expensive, and now it's falling down actually. People are starting to list it more and more as they see less and less play with this card. Yes, it is a harder to find card to get on your hand on from the Evolution Cup, but hey, it's what it is, is what it is. I'm looking at 24 euros. I can't wait to see if we ever tap that. I would love to see it at $25. Raomon from Gen Con is a card that got bought out recently. Uh, the reason for that is people are still waiting for the Gen Con stuff. Uh, we're going to see this Gen Con, like the Raomon's definitely coming to everybody, everybody from the mistake that happened from the online. The, the top, I think, 128 players gets a Raomon. So, and that should be a playset of Graumons, but I could be wrong. Uh, but that was just their way of saying, like, hey, I'm sorry, we screwed up. Da, 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 da. Uh, outside of that, looking clean here. Uh, let's see. We have Sukuyamon. Sukuyamon's very interesting here. It's 40 bucks. It's been holding that line. Uh, climbed up, but I wouldn't jump on the gun here. Just wait wait it out don't buy this card once we get sukuyamon maiden mode and then we have um venus mom this card just becomes extremely obsolete uh we're looking at 28 euros then we have absolute blast remember this card being like a 20 dollars card now it's like a three dollar card i think this would be a perfect time if you wanted to collect these summer dash packs it might be the perfect time to actually pick them up they're very cheap and they're very solidly good at these prices. We're looking at six dollars, six euros basically. Let's take a look at Impmon Event Pack 2. $20. Remember this card being like an $80 card, and now it slowly has dipped down into the 20 range. That is pretty awesome to see. I like when cards dip like that. It makes it very viable to be able to get your max rarity stuff. Yes, I know there is the other Impmon from the tamer tamers set but sometimes just having the event pack stuff be in the more affordable range really lets it so people can at least high rarity their stuff we're looking at 10 euros maybe we'll see it on down to that someday uh we're looking at hollowing boost memory boost remember this card being like a 20 dollar card i do now it's back into the 10 dollar range this card is seeing some play in the Crossheart decks. Not Crossheart. Blue Flare deck. So don't get too happy about these low costs. It'll probably climb back up depending on how well Blue Flare does. 
We're looking at six euros. Solid. Uh, Duro Greymon, the official tournament pack, volume six. We're looking at a six dollar card. This card was at twenty bucks. Now is dipped to like the penny stocks because everybody is trying to move this card because they are worried about a restriction list that might come out sooner than later. Once they make that announcement, we will see what they do against Duro Greymon. We're going to have five euros. Yeah, solid. Tyranomon, the official tournament pack promo. Remember this card being like a $2 card? And then this card has spiked like crazy. I remember this thing like being an $11 card. I won't be surprised if this reaches 11 again. This card is pretty solid. Is it going to do crazy amount of stuff for the Tyranomon deck? Probably not, but it is a Tyranno in name. So we're looking at a dollar euro, a dollar, not bad. Eismon Scatter Mode. Eismon Scatter Mode is about $25. This card will start ticking down as more and more of the stuff hits the market. Yes, Scatter Mode is a little harder to get your hands on, but hey, that's about it. We're looking at 10 euros. Not bad at all. Uh, Mako. Mako is still holding line in this $20 range, and it's about to hit that $30 mark very easily. Uh, I don't recommend buying her right now. I think she's a little too high for her price, and the deck isn't crazily doing things right now. I know that it's used right now in some decks, but I don't see any benefit of actually buying her. She's a little too expensive, in my opinion. About 8 euros. If it was like in the $10 range, I would say, yeah, pick her up, but that that's too expensive a cool boy x record pre-release stamp this card was sitting at a cool 30 dollars but now it's into the 23 dollar range not bad i think that's pretty solid for his pricing uh looking at eight euros about 10 bucks i wish we were in this range that would be amazing uh pedoman Pe pedoman uh this card is sitting at a whopping $25, $21, not terrible. I mean, not terrible, don't get me wrong, but I think it's still overly priced and overly hyped. I don't think it's a good investment right now. Looking at eight euros over there. Then we have Metal Greymon Altarius mode coming down from that hype. And you are playing, playing with the foil market as well. You're looking at maybe $23. I think if you're grabbing the foils, 23 is not bad, but definitely make it weighted out. There's no reason to rush for this card. Um, I think you're fine. Um, looking at 13 euros, 13 bucks. I think it'll come down to that range eventually. Zephyrmon, remember this card being like $26? I do. Uh, looking at this, it's an $11 card now. Uh, bless you, uh, but... There's also that reprint we're getting in the event pack threes, which we should be starting to see those tune in around October when we get regionals and stuff like that. So just keep an eye out on that. Uh, we're looking at, yeah, 11 euros. Not terrible. Remember Grand Kawagamon being like a $13 card? I do. Uh, looking to add, it is now a $2 card. I feel bad for all the Grand Quagamon players that was all hype for this deck, but it looks like it's it's tolling it's tolling what it has decided. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is that Grand Quagamon was a very powerful deck. Don't get me wrong, but its consistency struggles to make the top every single time. It has yet to take a first place win. And that was the deck that everyone assumed would take first place. And we're looking at two euros, two dollars. Keep it that way. Yumon from Gen Con. Uh, this should start flooding the market soon. By next week, we should be seeing a lot of people getting their Gen Con boxes. So this might start flooding the market. And this card probably will dip down to 15 bucks. So if you made your profit so far, congratulations. But outside of that, nothing too crazy. Angel Woman, the starter deck, Heaven's Yellow. We're looking at... This is the foiled one, by the way. This is the one that we should expect this to stay low. Um, we're looking at $7. 
And then its counterpart is like in the 14, but foil is the more definitive, high rarity. Anything foil is more definitive. Uh, looking at four euros, let it keep it that way. Angel Woman X Antibody, for the deck that it's being played in, is actually crazy, pretty nutty. The deck is pretty strong as long as the lines go off, but being able to minus security to check, attack certain boss Digimon and once they're on the field really does help out, especially if they have multiple security checks. Being able to bring it down to one, maybe two, anything like that really does help out. Uh, looking at it at $25, not terrible. Uh, looking at six euros, six dollars. I wish we were on that range. My Otismon winner pack. If this thing would load. There we go. We're looking at $18. Not terrible at all. Um, but this card will probably come down in price as seeing as it's not crazily played but yes i get it's my otis Mon. i get it there's there's hype behind it because of the fan favorite and we're looking at 12 euros next commandermon commandermon city is just climbing up commandermon has been just slowly creeping into the first place denominations i won't be surprised if the deck keeps winning there's just it's a very powerful consistent deck i am not surprised by that looking at 25 euros not terrible Commander Mom from Great Legends. This card reached the buyout status. We are at 40 bucks, boys and girls. Crazy. I support it. I mean, if you didn't get it, I feel bad, but we're looking like eight euros. Next, Pride Memory Boost. Surprisingly, remember when this card was like holding that $20 range? Well, this card now has reached, oh, $15 range because I'm not gonna justify $8. I mean, Undergrounds is not, like, a bad group, so I can't disvalue it, disvalue it, but looking at it as an $8 card, but we're still in the $15 range. I don't understand why this dipped all the way down, but we're going to have to wait and see. I expect this card to climb, so if you guys want, buy this Pride Memory Boost. You guys have been waiting for a max rarity version. Looking at 10 euros, pretty solid there um looking at thomas you boy so big things we're looking at is that jump when it was like a dollar card now it's like a five dollar card might be good to hold off on crazily buying this just yet we need to see what else they're gonna do for this deck or if that deck's gonna do anything crazy because this card could fall down pretty quickly uh looking at like two euro 0.2 20 cents basically of euros not terrible look at how the king has fallen five dollar card all the way down to like a two dollar card i like it uh looking at a dollar 25 and then we have ty kamiya himself this card seen a jump in a half this card is just because we're all excited for vidramon support that is probably in bt11 so definitely keep an eye out on this this card is probably going to climb up pretty quickly Looking at a dollar fifty euro, and then hero is another card you guys gotta pay attention to, especially if they do more support for ghost game. This card is gonna be looked at as a card you're gonna need, so just keep an eye out on this. It can be really expensive pretty quickly. Uh, let it dip for a bit. I think if it gets back to eleven dollars, it would be a really nice pickup. Um, Side of that don't go too crazy uh we're looking at six euros six dollars renama reina is actually in her game is from redigitized so this might be really important just to keep an eye out on her just so that she is quite expensive you're looking at two euro three dollars basically dollar 87 plus 99 cents shipping this card is going to hold its value, but expect this card to shoot, shoot up if all force gets its like future mode or X antibody mode in the set. It's and it's nuts. This card will probably jump and spike with it. Uh, looking at five year, oh point oh five, so that means five cents. Uh, Kishiru, uh, 
Higashitanamari, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to botch that last name. So we're just going to go Kishiru. Uh, $3 is not terrible. I mean, $4, this card is one of the cards that if Jelly Bond has more and more support coming, you want to get this. This is the pre-release stamp. So this is technically the highest rarity for this Tamer. So I recommend picking that up. Uh, a 1.74 euros. So $1.75 is not terrible. Another key sure we need to keep an eye out on. This card, if Jellymon gets more support, you're going to see this card climb up yet again. But this has 47 copies. Holy cow. Um, outside of that, nothing too crazy. Uh, looking at 3 euros. So what do you guys think of this Mark Watch? Let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Guys, we always do this every wednesday and fridays hopefully when we get more and more sets i can do more regular market watches and hopefully we get there one day so guys hopefully you enjoyed the video remember like comment subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace